Hi friends, welcome to Fast Studies YouTube channel. This is part 94 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about parameterizing linked services using advanced section. If you have seen my Data Factory playlist from the starting, in the initial videos, I have discussed about how to parameterize linked service using UI experience actually. In this video, we are going to focus about the same concept but using advanced section. You may be confusing at this moment. Let me practically explain you what I mean to. So if I go to uh, portal Azure, I mean Azure portal uh, here, let me open any data factory. I have a data factory called ADF Mahir. So let me open this data factory. So let me hit this open icon here to open my data factory studio here. So this is my data factory. So as I said in my starting video where I explained parameterizing linked services, what we did is we tried to create a linker service. For example, let's try to create a new linker service. And here, maybe let's assume I want to create a linker service of SQL, maybe. So let me search like Azure SQL database. Okay. And let me hit continue button. And this is like I am trying to create a linker service for my SQL database. And if you see here, I can select my subscription. And here, I can enter my uh, server name, right? So I can select any server, SQL server name, and databases name, and everything, right? And also, I mean, I can parameterize these sections as well, right? In I have explained all this in the uh, parameterization of linker services video. So, or you can select this enter manually and here give your server name, give your database name, everything as a dynamic. See, the moment I am keeping the cursor in the text box, I see add dynamic content button here. The moment I click it here, it is opening a dynamic content blade and here I can create a parameter. Maybe let's create a parameter called server or domain name maybe something like that okay so domain name or domain something which is string type let me hit save and and this parameter let me select it so i am i am using this code linked service domain name this code is going to take the value from this parameter and let's hit okay so what will happen here is instead of uh, hard coding some domain value here i am using a parameter and similarly for database name also i can use a parameter let me hit this add dynamic content let me create a new parameter maybe parameter name is db name and then string type let me hit save and then let me select this db name parameter as a value for that db name field database name field inside the linker service like that so let's say username and password for now i am hard coding okay so let's not worry what i am typing it here just focus that we created two parameters using the ui experience so the advantage of uh, creating these parameters using the uh, inside the linker services is Whenever we use this linker service inside any data set, we can dynamically pass values to it. That you guys already know it. If you don't know it, please watch my parameterization of linker services video. Okay. So now uh, the thing is in this case, we have this UI facility to create a parameters. So we entered uh, that, we created that parameters and you can see under the parameter sections, we see our parameters created and we can see that parameters are selected as a dynamic values here. So let me hit create button. So this is going to create a linked service for SQL database, which has dynamic values for server and the database name. And so this is the, uh, the linked service name, right? So if I go to author menu and if I try to create a new data set and uh, let's select the Azure SQL database only and let me hit continue. And here, let me select my SQL database too. And let's not select any table name for now. Uh, let me leave everything and let me hit OK button to create this data set. So let's wait, uh, let me hit this OK button to create the database. So now if you closely observe, inside this data set, since we selected a linker service which is parameterized, it is asking me to supply the both the values, right? So that means the parameters are exist inside this linker service. Hence, it is asking you to supply values into those parameters. So till here we are here. So if you have closely observed how we created these parameters, we created using a UI experience. The moment we kept our cursor here, we got a add dynamic content button and using that UI experience, we created it. So let me show you once again. So let me cancel this and let me delete this parameter here. See the moment I put my cursor, it is showing me this. But what will happen, right? In real time, only few connectors has this UI experience facility to create the parameters. Not all connector has. So if I go to another tab, if you search like parameterized linker services in data factory, you will get this first link here. So let me open this first link of documentation. So if you read this documentation, they clearly mentions that 
all these connectors whatever you are seeing right now here they support the ui experience of adding parameters okay but it doesn't mean that other connectors does not support support the dynamic nature of the parameterization inside the linked service they also do support but the only difference is for other connectors which are not listed here if you want to have some parameter you need to make sure to create the parameters and make the dynamic nature everything using the advanced section so you have to make sure to use this advanced section and do that so that's what we are going to discuss in this video so if i go back to my data factory inside this data factory for example let's try to create a linked service for uh, delta lake azure databricks delta lake so this is a connector and if you see this connector is not listed inside this list so that is the reason whenever i try to create a data set uh, linked service for this connector so let me hit continue here uh, for example let's say i selected my subscription okay and now let's say i selected my workspace also okay now if you see access token and cluster id for some reason i want to parameterize but when i keep my cursor here i am not seeing any add dynamic content button here so that means i cannot parameterize this using the ui experience so in this kind of scenarios we have to make use of this advanced section and inside this advanced section we have to check this box which says specify dynamic contents in json format and inside this json body we have to specify the properties of this delta lake connector so how we know the properties of this delta lake connector very easy whenever you try to connect to uh, whenever you try to create a linked service for any connector you will see this learn more button so hit that button it is going to open a new tab in which you will see properties of that connector uh, json so if i scroll down here if you see here 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 they are explaining how to create a linked service for this delta connector and if i scroll down definitely they might have given a json of that particular connector for a linked service if you see under properties so all these properties whatever you are seeing it here you have to take all these properties so copy these all properties then let's go back to our data factory here the moment we selected this if you see all the fields previously were appearing here they gone so let me uncheck this see there are many many fields all these fields will go away so let me check this box once again and here inside this json you need to paste that properties so let me paste it so now this way you can add all your properties to your uh, uh, linked service without manually entering it in from this json now as i said i want to make sure to uh, this cluster id and this access token properties i want to be dynamic right so that means i should have a parameters for it so inside this properties itself i should have a property called parameters inside that parameters i should first create the parameters so what is the syntax how to know that simple just go back to that documentation where i said uh, it has a parameterization of linked services uh, this this json or uh, this page link i will be providing in the video description as well so here you just scroll down and if you see all these lines are explaining the same thing whatever i said so here there is a sample json uh, they given as a reference so let me right click and open this in a new tab and uh, let's go back to that new tab and if you see here this is this is how you need to create parameters inside the properties see inside the properties this is how you can create a parameters this is the json to create it so let me copy this let me go back to data factory so inside the properties i am having this parameters uh, property as well which has parameters whatever i want so here i want two parameters one is for cluster id one is for access token so let's create a parameter called maybe cluster id okay cluster id is one parameter and then similarly maybe i want to create another parameter right so let me do one thing so let me copy this let me one second let me copy this from here to here and then let me paste it here so now what is the second parameter name i want maybe second parameter name i want maybe like access token okay so let's pay, let's let's add those two as access token right access token okay i created two parameters one is cluster id one is access token both are string type now what i can do is i can use these parameters as a values into the properties wherever i want so let me remove this right now whatever it is there and then here let me 
try to enter the syntax if you want to know the syntax again if you see the documentation of the same page so let me go back to that parameterization of linked services page uh, if you let's see here if you see this is all you need to write the expression linked service then dot parameter name so let me copy this here and then let me go back to our data factory so let me paste this here so here instead of param name what is your parameter name that's what you have to declare if i see my parameter name is cluster id so i can take cluster id okay and then what is my second parameter name my second parameter is name is access token so i can do that as well so let me go to access token here let me remove this let me paste that access token here and here uh, so for the access token value property i should use this access token parameter okay cool so there is one red line here why because after properties the second after pro parameters the second property is going to be type so the comma was missing so i added it so that's it so now if we create this linked service it is going to have two parameters in it one is for cluster id and another one is for access token i will practically also show you that see my data my linked service is created if i open i can see the same json i cannot see the ui experience why because this connector does not support ui experience at this moment and if i see i have two parameters here one is cluster id access token and uh, the both the values i used it here one is for cluster id and another one is for the access token properties everything is good how to make sure these parameters are created successfully or not just simple let's try to create one data set and use this linked service there so let me go back to management hub uh, sorry let me go back to author menu here and here let's try to create a new data set and uh, let's try to create a delta type right because we want to use that delta type linked service whatever we just now created it so let me select our linked service whatever we created and simply let me hit ok button now if you closely observe the moment i used this linked service inside the data set i can see cluster id and access token parameters are getting populated from my linked service that means my linked service is parameterized even though there is no ui experience how i parameterized it if i see i used this advanced section and then i clicked this link to take the json of the linked service and taken the properties completely and inside the properties i tried to make sure to create my parameters first and then use that parameters as a values wherever i needed so that's how you can parameterize the linked services using this advanced section even though there is no ui experience at this moment available so this is what i want to explain you in this video i hope you guys got a clear idea how we can parameterize linked service using the advanced section so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much